GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10... Alpha 10! Double digits. Well, last episode, uh, you saw me struggling to get free under a real heavy load. I ended up... I, I just ended up sucking it up and putting stuff back into the constructor <laughs> and yeah leaving a bunch of stuff back over at the cockpit you know whatever it is what it is it only takes a second to fly back over there or buzz back over there so this thing is still pretty heavy I, sh I don't know why I have so much stuff in it right now I was planning on moving somewhere and on the Journeys to find a new home. I found the Polaris settlement with Prometheum and all this other stuff. And I was about to actually do this trick, and I thought, wait, why am I not filming this? So the trick is it's no real trick, it's just a game mechanic. Um, I know I'm sure a lot of you are aware of the PDA, which is bring up your. Oops, that wasn't it. <clears throat> bring up your PDA to get into the missions for all the other factions and for solo missions. There's also an Imperiopedia. Imperiopedia. <laughs> so this, this can actually help you if you... I don't know how up-to-date this is at this point because a lot of this stuff, you know, crafted drill t1 hmm okay i'm not sure if that actually applies anymore and stuff like that but um in the meantime you can still to do these missions so i want to do the polaris one since i'm really right here this one needs to be friendly okay well we're not friendly why is that what what, what are we at well we're we're neutral but we're we're only 1500 away from friendly so what i want to do is i want to do a mission maybe that it might let me do. Well, this one says shut down some other drones. Eh. Wildlife camps. Scout a few ore deposits. Well, okay. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's try that one. Um, wonderful. Oh, okay. Because I skipped ahead. I'm like, I haven't done a mission for you yet, dudes. Let's just go. So we got to find one, two, three deposits. And we can see three deposits on the map right now. Well, there's right over here, there's a Prometheum, a couple of Prometheum. So I'm going to show you something here. Let's just go over here. Oh, there, well, actually, there's quite a, what is this? Three, okay, a silicone too. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, crash capital vessel. Nice. So when we get close enough, one's going to check. And it, all we have to do is just back up. 100 meters, if it's the only... Oh, come on, get out of the way. I'm not even sure if it's 100 meters now. Let's let's just get 100 meters, at least, so, you know, before we get attacked again. And then we'll head over here, and when we get close enough to it again, 50 meters, we... There it is. <laughs> we got the checkbox for it again. We'll go away, I think it's 100 meters. It might not even be 100 meters. What is this? We're not quite. We're like 20 some odd meters. I don't think it'll work right now. So, oh, it did. <laughs> okay, so we just got to back up on the same spot like a couple meters. We just got to do a jig on the same spot and to, you know, whatever. Don't, don't like judge the missions yet. Remember, this is an alpha. Okay, it's just one of the little things you can quickly do to get the mission over instead of going in and pushing the buttons. At least you feel like you kind of did the mission. Yeah, okay, fine. <sighs> These things are just not going to let up, are they? Hmm. Well, um, we obviously aren't friendly yet, and there's lots of spideys around. So I think what we need to do is maybe... <laughs> yeah, 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 come here, come here, come here. Oh, I'm getting Polaris. Yeah, come on. Nice. Yeah, run away, run away. This thing's so low to the ground. Come back, come back. <laughs> nice. 
raking in the XP. Oh, he's double thinking that one. Oh, I couldn't think fast enough. Ooh, getting stuck because this thing sucks. <laughs> I had to stick that thruster on the front, as you can see, because I couldn't move backwards at all without it. Come here, come here. Ooh, almost got him. Come on, it's like a joust. Yeah. yeah and one, ooh, he's right there. Come on. A little bit surprised considering that I just killed his buddy right beside him. Usually they run. Okay, I think I got them all. Very, very cool. Now, am I still... See, I'm not... I'm not friendly with them yet. Okay, so can, what else can we do? What else can we do? Um, what can we do? We can power down the zone, bring back a few samples of Prometheum. Hmm. Do I have to do it in a radiated zone? Or can I just go dig up some of theirs? Eh, it won't let me right now anyway. None of these will. Honored, honored, okay. Privacy, drones, shoot down drones. Or wildlife cam, so we're on that. Okay. And it's repeatable in like an hour after you activate it. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, well. Where are we with the faction? Oh, we're just shy now. Just shy. So I think, and where are we with the, uh, we got we got six levels, so we're Ganon for seventh already, and we don't even, oh, okay. Well, there we go. We've got uh, company. Come on. Oh, double thinking that one, aren't you? Yeah, you got fangs for a face. Well, I got a meat grinder for a face. Come on. <laughs> Aww. They sound so sad. Okay, so I really need to grab all their meat, probably. You know, I should. That was such a waste I didn't before. Let me try grabbing it. So another thing... Nope. Did I hear something? Did I hear something? No. No. Another thing you can do is you can use your drone, once you've killed stuff, to loot. Come on. These things have tough hitboxes. Come on. There we go. And... Yeah, see? I could have also done the uh, Shift F to have uh, auto-looted, too, I guess. But... There we go. Um... Okay, let's see if we have to battle more of these things. So, is that it for the spiders? Okay, so I think I can just stand here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on top of my um oh how much can i carry i'm full just so full darn <laughs> you know what we really need to find somewhere to put to place down and i haven't found any water up north yeah okay so mm, i need to find somewhere I need to find somewhere. So let's try under all this weight because I've got like a crap ton of stuff on me. I'm trying to relocate here. And of course, well, I've got some iron on me. Okay, that's fine. Left a whole bunch of iron behind by the look of it. And we've got spiders. I heard it. Where are you, spider? I heard you spawning respawns doesn't matter I can't carry anything um, I think the best thing for me right now oh you know what I probably should re do the tutorial basic building 
And because we finished off the vessel, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Because that wants us to build a base, right? So, okay. I think that's our next step anyway here. I want to just get north, northeast here. <clears throat> Try and find some water. Oh, there's water right there. Sweet. Big lake, actually. But it's still all in Polaris territory. The other thing I gotta be careful of is sinking in the water with this thing could be just completely devastating, to say the least. So, let's not do that. I'll just try and stay off the water for now. Okay, we've got a radar hit. Talon territory, huh? Oh, crap. Okay, so that stuff, these chunks of water up over here, ooh, and look, there's like tons of hits around here. This might not be a bad spot, really. Tons of radar hits. So there's water there. There's lots of water here. Water there. This ain't bad, this beach right here. It's nice and flat. I don't have to dig much. I mean, ultimately, a under underground base is much better, but... We're going to let this one get destroyed, so, you know, we'll just build it up like, like crazy fools and let it get destroyed. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot, actually. I don't know if there's, you know what, I don't care. I don't care if there's Xerax right there. No, there wouldn't be with the Talon, right? The Talon would be at least there, so... They're like way over here somewhere, if any, if they are. So I think, yeah, we're fine right here. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to lay down my, um, we don't have the starter here with us, do we? I got to go get it. So let's just grab everything. I grab the starter? No, I'm not sure I got. No, okay, so that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop everything off here. I'm gonna go get all the other stuff and I'm gonna bring it back here and I will meet you here. Okay, we are back after going and getting all our stuff. We also discovered a ton of stuff between here and there. Uh, I took a little bit of a roundabout route getting back. Look at that. We discovered a little gold deposit. We'll go dig that up later. We discovered a bunch more alien stuff. The abandoned factory. A unknown helix. Um, so, yeah. And then this is a big talon spot here with, I don't know what's on the other side, but there's some silicone here. There's lots of resources around there, so we're not we're not struggling for resources at all. But I did not make friendly with the Polaris really close though. Like, wow, <laughs> go shoot a couple spiders, no problem. Um, so I'll probably do that off camera, and then go get some Prometheum. In the meantime, let's follow what it wants us to do. We're going to build a base, so let's do that. Uh, it's really cold out, so we also need to build a suit um, so let's do that too so we have a base starter and we took that from no did we craft that we might have craft that now I can't even remember what do we got in here let's take a look now you can see it's super cold out so we can't uh, hang out too long let's just put this in here for now we'll eat this uh, eight minutes actually we'll grab that these wood blocks we'll put in there too or you know what? You know what? I think we can just hold on to those. They're not suit. They're not that heavy. 
Yeah. And we will need to actually place that down anyway, so. <laughs> I don't know why I placed them in there. I'm just derping. Um, but what we also need to do is build a... Let's go into here. I'm going to go into the constructor. Oh, we got to unlock it all first. Right, so we got 86 points to unlock stuff. Um, we got the armor. Explosive device. Are we going to need those right now? I don't think so. So let's do the drill. Ventilator. Sounds good. I don't think we need it right yet. <clears throat> Hover vessel detector. O2. But the O2 leads to the armor. Eh, do I want to put it on the hover vessel or the base? You know, we could do the base. We could really crank on the base stuff. Let's go. Let's go for it. Oh, you know what? I do need to do before we go too crazy though is get the hover engines. Gotta have those, and I wouldn't mind getting the boosters. You know what? The medium size too. We can really beef this thing up. And oh yeah, spotlights. Jeez. Riding in the dark. Uh, we'll get the shutter doors. Uh, Pentaxid tank. Polarized shield. That'll help big time. Do we need the detector right now? Not so much. It's really heavy too, isn't it? It's uh, 500. Oh, it's not that heavy. That's heavier. Uh, we need to learn a bunch of base stuff though, so let's do that. Let's take the plant. I don't know, sure, why not? Cargo boxes, we definitely need those. We're gonna need the container controller. Uh, we're gonna need the food processor, the armor locker, and six points left. Uh, six points left. What can we sink into the hover vessel? Well, we could take the detector. It's not a bad idea. Let's let's do that. Okay. So, why don't we make a? Now that we learn that stuff, we go into here. What do we got in here? Do we got enough stuff to make stuff? No. So. Let's just jump out. <clears throat> um, you know what? Let's throw this down to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Here, let me get close then. Thank you. We'll connect to this. We should be able to put this into our bar because we're connected to it. And go like this. Put all that in there. I gotta keep it running because it's my. Unless I, unless I use a heater cooler, I guess I could do that too. Ah, I could grab my heater cooler and throw that out. You know what? Let's do that right now. That way I don't have to keep jumping back in. I'll just stand here. And I guess I can just turn that off then, right? Let's just do that too. If I got this out, we don't need to waste the fuel. Okay. Um, what else here? Let's put all that in here. Did I, so is it disconnected now? Am I lost connection? No, I got nothing. There we go. Okay, so if we switch to it first, there we go. That's what we need to do. Actually, I'm going to put those on me and you know, I'll just eat that right now because I'll forget about them. So the reason I'm putting those on me in my survival constructor, I still got eight mint ones. Well, they they don't per they don't seem to perish in your output tray on your survival constructor. So I'm gonna make a bunch more. Um, not sure if I can get ten out of that. I might be able to. No? Okay. So <clears throat> let's heat up. And yeah, I don't care now because we, there's nothing in my bar. Whatever, disconnect me. Thank you. 
So, do we have everything in here now? Not in this one? Yeah, we do have everything in this one, right? We don't have anything in the other one, do we? No. Okay, so that other one... I don't know. What are we going to make with this? We're going to make the armor locker. We can make the armor. Might need some more shotgun shells, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay. So, while well, that one's doing that, and we can put these here. wood. God, can't believe I'm going to put a wood wood starter down. Or wood wood blocks around my starter. I can always change that later, but let's let's put this I want to sink it down. Out there. Let's do that. And then um here, I'll use my drone because I gotta stay close to the heater cooler. And we'll put some blocks around. And we're getting we're getting credit for it as you can see. You know what? I think I might have left the other starter. That's fine. On this um on this playthrough, I'm I'm not going to bother with the two bases. I'm just going to build this one up to get attacked. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'll show you that on my last playthrough. Uh, it'll be a full playthrough, and, and I'll be building multiple bases, doing a whole bunch of different funky things to mitigate the attacks. And then when I want to, I'll be able to trigger it against a specific base. Okay, so we have completed that. We need to craft one more block, it says. So let's do that. Let's do that. We've got that built. We've got that built. We'll build the last building block. <clears throat> and that completes the... Put that in here. Put this down here, too. Okay. Uh, well, let's, let's put this down here. You know what, let's spin this around. That looks good. Go in. Put on our armor. All right. There we go. Now, we can withstand much higher and lower temperatures. Um, let's take a look, in fact. Let's go back to our stats. We can now go down to minus 10 to 45 Celsius. And we have radiation of 4. We have 100 more pounds. We can, or 100 more volume we, we have on our personal inventory. And we have our light back yeah and what else we have jump yes jetpack <laughs> all right jetpack yeah love it okay so that's huge getting into armor um well i mean there we go we got our base up <laughs> This is probably a good spot to leave it at. And I think next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a whole bunch more base stuff. Right now, let's see what the stats are on it, because this should tell us now. Woo, we're, our reputation sucks, right? And that's the only reason why it's high probability, so we can never get below that with location or energy footprint so it's only going to get worse so wow we might get we might easily get attacked once we put a few more blocks up if we start getting bigger in size 
and get an energy footprint going, we might actually get attacked here. Well, uh, I'm going to leave it here and keep building blocks and getting stuff together. Um, and I think next episode will be more of a construction episode. We're going to build the base and... I mean, maybe, maybe we'll get a drone base attack. If we do, we're, we probably won't be very prepared for it with only like a thousand rounds in this thing. and <laughs> So we'll go down pretty quick, but we won't have much of a base, I don't think so. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.